You might think that if you put one of these in your garbage disposal, that it's gonna clean it properly. It does make it smell good, but there are some parts of it that it doesn't get to. And that's under this rubber. Let me bring this closer. See if you lift this up. See if I could turn this flash on. Yeah. If you lift this up, you can see, I'm not sure if you can see that, there's still some grime under the rubber parts and also on the sides that you won't get. So what I do is, turn that flash off, is I get a brush like this, and then I spray some, some bleach stuff or something like this, any kind of cleaner on the brush. I kind of saturate it, All right? Saturate it. I also lift, lift up the rubber and spray in here. And then I get really in here and scrub it. Just lift the rubber up and scrub it. You can also just use a toothbrush and that will work fine. Now you might wonder, I just dropped a, a plink or whatever it is inside here and it still smells grimy and it will look grimy too because under the rubber and on the insides and the sides of it does not get clean properly. And you can also feel it, right? If you just feel under here, you'll feel the, the grime. The other thing I do sometimes is I pour some baking soda in here. And then I put some vinegar. Put some vinegar. That's gonna cause a reaction. You can even still, you can even still put one of these plinks in here and it would work just fine, right? Now this particular one is for a dishwasher and wash and and uh, a washer, but they have some versions of this that's for the garbage disposal. Again, so if you're cleaning it with something like that, it's not gonna clean under the rubber. Check your rubber. And I'm pretty sure if you haven't been paying it any attention, you're gonna realize you haven't been cleaning it properly. The other bit that's often ignored is under here. So if you have a nozzle like this, I mean, it's pointing down all the time. Not sure how many of us actually look on the underside. Quite often there's grime in here. I just do the same, get a toothbrush, spray it. All right, those old toothbrushes are always useful. And I just kind of clean under here, right? Because if you're using this to drink from or to fill your pots to cook with, and it's not clean, you're basically eating your grime every day. Let's just look at that grime already. I do this maybe once a week, maybe once every two weeks. Sometimes it's, it's yeah, I don't remember, but that just keeps it real clean. Now at the end, I just run some warm water, turn on the garbage disposal and rinse it off.